What's up, my fellow Barnon Nation? This is Chris, a.k.a. Barnon11970. Thank you, as always, for taking the time to watch my video. All right, guys, like you could see in the title of this video, um, we're going to be talking about more hidden in plain sight. Um, it's actually getting more and more obvious at this point. And for those of you who believe that movies, music, television shows are just about entertainment, you have that right, and that's perfectly fine. But it's like any coded message, if you don't know how to read it, and you don't know it's there, then it doesn't matter if somebody hands it right to you, you'll never understand it. So this video is going to be for the people who know what to look for. And even if you haven't and you're curious about this, I'm going to show you, because there are several videos I've done that talk about music, television shows, and even movies, where they put messages into them for people who are able to perceive them. Now, there are going to be two uh, things I'm going to talk about. One movie and one TV show they pretty much have to do with each other. Um, one of them is going to be the new Captain American movie, um, Captain America, uh, the Winter Soldier movie. And the other is going to be the latest episode of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is on TV. I actually watch it on Hulu+. Plus. So there's going to be some spoiler alerts here, so if you haven't seen these movies and you want to, and you don't want to know some of the secrets that I'm about to reveal about it, um, you may want to pause this, watch the movie, watch the uh, TV show, and then come back and watch this. For the rest of you, um, if you've already seen it or you don't care about the spoilers, continue watching and we'll show uh, what's going on here. So basically, the whole premise behind the Captain American movie Captain America movies. He's basically created to fight in World War II. He was a super soldier. They gave him um, the special serum that created a super soldier. The first, technically. And he was fighting the Nazis. But in the movies, they replaced the word Nazi for Hydra. So the enemy that Captain America is fighting in the movies is actually Hydra. Now, if you watch the first movie, you'll know that Hydra was a faction of the Nazis. So it gives a little basis right there that they're talking about problems with the Nazis. So that's just the setup. In the second movie, and again, this is the spoiler alert, so this is your last chance if you want to know what's going on in the movie. To I mean, to know to watch the movie first, pause this. But in the second movie, we find out that Hydra, a.k.a. the Nazis, have overtaken S.H.I.E.L.D. Now, if you replace Hydra with Nazis, and you replace S.H.I.E.L.D. with either the CIA or the FBI or any part of the American government system, they're basically telling you that we have been Ill infiltrated. Now, if you watch the second Captain American movie, I keep saying Captain American, Captain America movie, they even mention the word Operation Paperclip. You could watch the movie and see it for yourself. It's about midway through. Now, if you're not familiar with Operation Paperclip, that was a real operation where what happened was when we won the war, if you want to think of it that way, basically they kidnapped and made deals with a lot of the German scientists. You know, the people that were responsible for, you know, killing millions of people through the co concentration camps. And, you know, they were the ones responsible for all the machines that were being built. Instead of them being punished for their crimes, they were rewarded by being sent to places like England, uh, other countries. But mainly, most of them came to America. And they got different identities and were basically compensated. So they're basically they're saying instead of us throwing them in jail or having them executed for their crimes, we rewarded them by saying, come over to our side, do the work for us now, and we'll pay you. We won't throw you in jail. You'll get a new identity and live happily ever after. So this is a real operation, and I will post one of many links that you could check out yourself. And the one that I'm posting is from the New York Post, so it's not some just person in their basement of their mother's house trying to talk about this stuff. So is it also, if you watch the latest um, 
episode of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is a Marvel um, TV show. Now, I don't know what station it's actually on, but I watch it again on Hulu. I don't have cable TV. I don't watch mainstream media. But they talk about the very same thing. It goes in coordinates with a lot of the movies where they're saying that the agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. are supposed to be the protecting, protectors of the American government and the American way of life, you know, the freedom we supposedly have. Um, what they basically say is there were high-level Nazis, Hydra, that infiltrated them and were doing it since World War II. And they slowly built more and more people to join them until they got confident enough where there were enough people in Hydra, or Nazis, to actually take over control of the government. So, at this point, they're getting so cocky about it. And you can even see one other thing that some people may not have even noticed. If you see in the Captain America, uh, Captain America movie, the Winter Soldier, on his arm that's made of metallic silver, whatever the material is, you'll see a nice little red star. Well, what would be the purpose of that? Because if you ever read the comics... First of all, he didn't look like that, and he didn't have a red star, at least as far as I can remember. But the red star is the symbol for Russia, communism. So what they're telling you is fascism and communism have infiltrated America's government system through Operation Paperclip, and they have infiltrated our government and are taking it over. And if we don't stop them, what is going to happen is an over, a total overthrow of our government. And we notice all the things that are going on with Russia, and the, with the Ukraine right now. We know that China has been buying all of our debt, and China's making deals with Russia these days, you know, talking about making trades with oil and natural gas, and potentially even making gold-backed currencies in the future. I've made videos about that. If we choose to do nothing, I, I don't know what the outcome is going to be, but I don't think it's going to be a bunch of people dancing in the street saying how wonderful it is. Again, uh, I'm not a doom and gloomer, so I'm not saying this is going to create nuclear war and everybody's going to be shot out in the streets or anything, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't report what's going on. And they're getting really cocky at this point. So if you haven't seen the, either the TV show or the movie, I highly recommend it because they're basically teaching you, hidden in plain sight, what has been going on since World War II? And the fact that they actually used Operation Paperclip, I guess the majority of people would just think, oh, that's something they said in the movie. I wouldn't even think of looking it up or not even give it any thought. That that's an actual, real project that happened. And coincidentally enough, because I'm sure some people are going to say it's just a coincidence, but coincidentally enough, it happened to be about them taking German scientists bringing them over to America and other countries to work for them. Infiltration. And that's that's how they do this. That's why you saw with the uh, Wall Street protests, with all these different things that are going on in the Ukraine, with terrorism, they say, around the world. You know how easy it is to infiltrate? I mean, just imagine if there is some kind of protest again in Manhattan, and let's say 10,000 real Americans decide, I'm going to protest. How easy would it be for anybody, a cop, some kind of different type of soldier from another country, anyone can just put on regular clothes and go right into the crowd and then start trouble. Well, they can blame the crowd for that and say, oh, look, a whole fight started. Because you know, once one person does something, there are other people that will tend to follow. Because the majority of people are followers. And the whole thing about us trying to be in this country so diversified is there are so many different types of people and cultures and religions and what have you that it's impossible to tell who's a real American and who's not. I mean, you see article after article talking about how there are Russian soldiers training here in the United States, Chinese soldiers here in the United States. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but even if it was... How would you be able to know the difference between a Russian soldier and just a regular American, provided you're not talking to them and provided they don't know English? If you just saw them walking down the street in just regular clothes like this or what you're wearing, how would you know that they, who they were? And just imagine that in a crowd of thousands of people. So my videos are here to point things out. 
there are messages out there that I know the average person that doesn't pay attention to this will say, you know, that's you're being crazy, you're being paranoid. Well, I show example after example, and I'm just showing a sample of thousands of movies, thousands of TV shows, thousands of songs, that if you listen to them, they're all talking about pretty much the same thing. And again, if you have a coded message, if you're in a war, and you are capturing part of an enemy bunker, and there's all these coded message all over the place, paperwork and everything, if you can't read it, how do you know what it what it's supposed to be for? Who's to say that something that looks like just a regular love letter doesn't have hidden coded messages that they sent and that's how they did it? Because, you know, in war, they don't want the enemy to know what's going on. So the more you can mislead them or the more you can get them into a false sense of security, that's how you can really entrap people. So if you appreciate this kind of stuff, Please share this video. Please favor it. Give it a thumbs up. If you're not part of the Barnon Nation, we would love for you to subscribe. Check out the movie. It's the Captain America and the Winter Soldier. That's the second one that just came out. And the other TV show is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's I, I don't know what network it's on, so if somebody wants to leave that in the comment, that's fine. Or if you have Hulu, it's going to be there. And it's the, the episode that just came out last week. Um... It, it basically will tell you everything you, you need to know. And all they're doing is is just changing the names of the people. So instead of Nazis, they're calling them Hydra. And instead of either FBI, CIA, or whatever government faction you want, they're just replacing it with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Is it a coincidence? I'm sure anything in life could be. But when you have time and time again, they show examples of these situations, and they all seem to be fitting together. It makes it less and less unlike, less and less likely of it being a coincidence. But who knows? I'll leave that for you to decide. I'm not here to tell you what to do or what to think. I'm just here to show you things that you'll never see on mainstream media. What you do with it is totally up to you. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy your day, and don't forget to have your trolls spayed or neutered. Peace.